and there we go. So I'm just now starting to reroute the boost piping um, because with the rad where it used to where it is and where it used to be, um, there's no gap to come across there. But rad is in. Um, so it looks pretty good. Uh, it's almost flush with the slam panel at the top there, which is good, so maximum airflow up to the rad itself. Um, all the piping's in place, I'd love to replace those these blue ones at some point, it'd be great, not for now. Um, Ziggy's looking a bit like toast today, a bit hot, aren't you, girl? Um, and then in here, um, we just need to put some trim in the back in here, obviously, but we've got our additional pipe that we should have to upgrade to three quarter uh, inch, 19 mil, um, which kept leaking. We've sorted that out now. There's always a spot that you can't reach it's leaking. That comes round and that will come over. And then what we'll do is just to keep it from rubbing on the rad, we'll just cable tie it to the boost pipe once we've got it in place. So um, there's going to be a length here. I'll come from down there up to here. Uh, it's an old 90, just using that to mock it up. I've got two 90s that should have arrived today. Um, thank you very much, uh, Ash. Um, you didn't deliver on your one day delivery, but never mind. So there'll be another 90 there, obviously. And that'll finish off that boost hosing and um, piping, and then I'm just going to organise this a little bit better because it was just kind of pushed together and it was black. And we're trying to go all blue, and we're now going to have a spare piece. So I'll arrange something there to look a bit smarter. And that's pretty much it. And just put the grill in, take a couple of chunks out of the grill, job done. Um, fans on the inside there, I think I mentioned that. And then, bonnet. The bonnet. So the bonnet. Because of the indecision, it has been decided to wrap it. Thus, if I want to change the colour, if I want to paint it, if I want to move it on, and it's a finer carbon one, then that's not a problem. I can just peel the wrap off, or whoever buys it can peel the wrap off, put another colour on, or paint it. That's simple enough. So, what wrap are we going to do? Well, anyway, back to the, the uh, cooling system. It is all plumbed in, it's not leaking, it's been bled up, it's been run and then bled again, so we are all good to go. Um, what I'm obviously missing is some boost piping, so we can't take it out and drive it yet. Hopefully that'll arrive on Monday, and then we can take it out for a spin, and all should be a lot cooler. Still haven't managed to do the oil cooler, which is a bit of a bummer, because there's lots of room to do it, because the pipes that were sent were all seized onto the old fixing. So, I don't know how many times in pipes and coolers I've tried, but um, probably won't be on for Pugfest, but it's not exactly a heavy pull. Uh, it's not like, you know, you go up there for hours and hours, you go up there, do a minute of hard pull, and then you can cool down. So it should be alright for next week. But, I'm looking still for some oh, cooler lines. Anyway, so uh, keep up to date. Um, I should be at Pugfest next weekend. Um, you'll probably see this video afterwards, because my internet at the moment has died, so I've got no internet to upload anything. So you'll probably shortly see those over the summer. But thanks for watching to this point. Cooling system done. Next is the bonnet. And then we can go out and enjoy it. <laughs> so excited! <laughs> you excited face! Right, we just finished off the boost piping now. Um, got the pipes arrived at last. And some T-bolt clamps, um, which were an absolute pig to get on. We are very tight for tolerances all the way around. Like two or three mil, basically. Thank goodness for the lower engine mount to be a power flex. Um, tidied this up a little bit as well, could do the big clamp there, but it cost probably more than the filter. Um, and it's nice and easy to change. Um, so now the boost pipe comes straight up. Here's our additional coolant pipe, which is cable tied to boost pipe so that it keeps it off, hopefully off the edge of the radiator. We'll have to keep an eye on that. We might just have to put a little um, a little protector sleeve on there, um, like you get along here sometimes. So that's all in. And now the only thing we've got to, to sort out now is the grill goes along here. So I just thought I'd show you before I sort of finish bodging it, how I'm bodging it. Um, so we're basically trimming, trimming, cutting a couple of slots in. Now the first thing I'm going to try and do is score it from behind, heat it up and melt it in. So you've still got an edge of the colour showing basically, so it's not just a blank space. But obviously that's going to allow a lot more air in, and the phase one grill would be a bit better to be honest at least allows air in, but this just takes the air right over the top of the rad, which is sort of that much rad, but it's still being covered, which is no good. So we're going to give that a try. Um, there's plenty of these other things around, so if it doesn't look good or doesn't work, then we'll just put another one in. 
Um, but I wanted to try this rather than cutting the usual bunch of holes in it, hoping it'll look a bit tighter. Right, so, it's a right mess, <laughs> to be honest. Um, the right side, I, I'm happy with that actually. It's a little bit of a bow in it, lesson learned. And then I did the second one, and I did exactly the same thing, but I had a very different result. And you can see, it is not very pretty, that. Um, so I'll, this is about testing this. So it allows a good amount of ventilation into the rad, as you can see. Um, whereby before it would just go straight up into the engine bay, or off, gone. So um, now it's got its nostrils. We will hopefully do some testing and we'll see uh, how it looks. Obviously, the bonnet needs a bit more flush work. Um, it's all about testing, so if it works, I'll get another grill and make it slightly tidier. But the idea is it kind of follows the contour lines and it kind of looks not too bad, hopefully, but we'll see. It all looks like once I've got the bonnet done and the bonnet pins in. We've got a little bit of touch here, but that might have to just cope with that until after Pugfest. And then a little bit more tweaking here and there with the pipe work. Hopefully it'll stop rubbing on the bonnet. At the moment we can, with the bonnet pin, we can get it to sit flush. We're going to put a bit of pressure on it. So the next thing is the bonnet. I don't know what all of these ridges are in. You'll probably watch this in like September because my internet's so slow. Um, apologies for that. I'm doing my best. There we go. Cooling system done. Boost pipes done. Grill cut just the bonnet to sort out now. I'm going to take some of the uh, vinyls off, get it clean and we're ready for And I'm going to go